Uh, Ansem, would you mind if we speak English? Yeah, sure, sure, we can speak English. Okay. It's not perfect perfect because I never had it in school, but we can speak English. Anyway, I saw your exhibition uh, uh, at Le Bourget and I was absolutely amazed. It's incredible. It's extremely strong. There's a new light. There's a new density. It's amazing. I was really, I think for me, it's like a, a rebirth of yourself, I have to say. Oh, oh, it's nice to hear this, yes. <laughs> I don't feel like this, but it's nice to hear this. <laughs> so the first question is about gold. About gold? gold. Yes. Ah, yeah, yeah. No, you know, I used gold, even when I was a student, I used, used already gold. Gold is a, is a special, it's, it's one of the material for artists, you know. You know the icons? The icon, uh, you say icons? Yes, icons. Icons and a lot of artists, uh, James Lee Byers used gold and so. So this is a common medium like like argil, like um, uh, like color, mm -hmm. like oil color. That, that's it's normal. Okay. But for you, not so normal. Huh? For you, it's not so normal. Uh, it's it's normal because you know I'm working still a long time like an alchemist. You know I I want to 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 to, to become you I want to uh, produce gold out of lead. You know that's the alchemist tradition to produce gold out of lead, and. Um, uh, there, there are books about this, how to get this, and in, in the alchemist uh, mytho mythology. Um, and um, but in the same time, they say be careful; it's dangerous, you know. And um, and the main issue is not to have gold, but it's more a spiritual thing. They write in in those books, you know. But you are spiritual too, because your gold is in the sky. Not only in the sky, it's it's also reflecting reflecting down on the earth. Yeah, but there's there's something very powerful in your new big paintings coming from the sky. One and above all, one which is golden sky. So yeah, there's this sky, the gold sky, and there's also the dark blue sky. Two yeah. very dramaturgic skies, which are extre extremely strong, and there's a light in it. I see a new light, in fact. Yeah, you see a new light. Okay, yes. I think it's my old light. <laughs> <laughs> so, but it's more powerful, it's I'm nice, sorry. It's nice that you see a new light, it's nice, and I like it, yes. <laughs> and also there's something about density which is new for me. I see a new density in the painting. What, what do you mean about density? It's very, it's very uh, dense. How can you say? You mean composition or what do you mean? With the this? composition, there's a lot of, I mean, it's very powerful when you see it from, from far, but when you go very close to the canvas, you can see uh, ah, all the different you know, things. This was always like this. When you go next to the painting, it becomes abstract. It becomes a, it becomes a Ecole de Paris, you know, you know it, it becomes abstract. But then you go back and you have to go back. You have not to see only the detail. When you go back, then, then you have this whole thing. So this, I think this was always with my paintings. But the, really, my feeling is that there's something new in your paintings. Oh, I'm happy to hear this. Okay. <laughs> so what else can I say? It's about light, it's about density, and it's about the sky. All that is completely new, it's very strong. And we are living in a very special period, right? And it looks like an answer, an answer about the power of the painting. Voila. So what is your, in fact, I took back this book that I love, interview by Daniel Arras. Ah, yeah. This was what we did once in the radio, no? Or what? 
exactly. And, it's, and I think it's very interesting. And I liked him. You know, I liked him. He, I, I was I was speaking with him very often. It was always very nice with Daniel. Yeah, yeah. And uh, you said that history is a is a query, in career. Yeah. No, there is no not the absolute history. There's not the 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 history. You know, each um, time, each emperor writes his own history. You know, and um, for an artist, for me, history is like argil. You know, like like the sculpture needs to to form his sculptures, and. Um, you can you can form it, you know the the the, the absolute history doesn't exist. But uh, what do you think about the story of today? What will be kept of this history? Um, you know, it's a very for me as a European German European, that's a very difficult time now, because we are now between and for this reason I use the title. Um, of um, of François Premier and, yes. and and Henri Witt. Uh, we are the now, of gold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are now between these two two big entities, America and China. You know, China gets bigger. America is still big, and Europe is in the middle. And if if they don't get if they don't get to to achieve Europe, then we will be. Squished, squeezed, squeezed, squeezed between, you know, and that was was François Premier um, was threatened, you know, François Premier when when Charlemagne the the fifth, the, th the fifth, and Henri VIII, they want they wanted to do an alliance yes. against François Premier. And then it would be like Europe today; it would be smashed, you know. Okay, that's that's what I see. As a parallel to the day, but in the but same time, all, all my mythology, mythology, mythological uh, themes um, are always valuable in those times too. You know, but also, um, and, and what you can see also with this François Premier and Henri Witt, you have to speak. You know, you have to speak together. And uh, they met. They met near Calais, and then they spoke one week. No, it was longer. I think it was two weeks. And so they, 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 um, they saved the situation. But um, also, they they had a competition to show that one was richer than the other, and yeah, yeah, there yeah. was a lot of gold. Yeah. And you use gold again. Yeah, yeah. No, no, it was, they used a lot of gold, you know, and then they made big palaces, like a tent, but it was like a palace with a lot of gold cloth, cloth, and, and they, wa they wanted to show off, yes. Like That's today, you know, like today. <laughs> but you have gold also in your painting. In yeah. fact, in my favorite one, in the, what's the name? It's called uh, Death and Rebirth from the poetry of uh, Paul Celan. Yeah, what what do you mean? I don't understand. You have in the sky. The sky is gold. Is gold. So it's also a reference to the to this history, so this Middle Age history with François Premier, who used a lot of gold to show he yeah, was sure, powerful. Sure. You know, it was this when I when I had all um, <clears throat> when I when I had made all the nearly all the paintings. I, I looked for a title for the for the for the show. You know. And um, then um, all the gold, you know, this you have in this, uh, there is an old painting who, 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 um, who shows the meeting of both. And, um, but it was 100, late, 100 years later, it was made. You remember this painting? No, but in fact, it. in fact, your painting make me think also about Uccello in the dramaturgy. Uccello, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can. I like him very much. Yes. <laughs> and so, yeah, and so dark, so dark blue. Yeah. Is this, you have no soldier, but you have in your in your painting one can see like the ghost of the soldiers. Yeah, yeah, but I, I have the, the the what is this called in English? X X? No, not X. X. Yes. X too, but also uh, the sickles. Uh, yes. Sickles. Exactly. Uh, 
it, it can be seen like the ghost of the, the death, of course, but also the ghost of the soldiers, right? Yeah, sure, sure. Um, it's a, a sickle is always connotated with death, you know. You know the the, the wonderful film of Bergman, the seven, the seven. What is this called? The seven. They said so in French. That, they, said, they said so. The seven. What is in English? The seven. The seven. <laughs> seals. Ah, seals. The seven seals. Yes. You know this film, and they are, yes. they are, at the end they, they dance with um, sickles like this. It's it's a, it's a it's a film yeah, from Bergman. Yeah. And why is it important to to paint the drama? Uh, but but it's drama, you know. Life is drama, you know. Doing paintings, it's a drama. It's a fight, oh. always, you know. It's a fight. Yeah, it's even the physical fight. Uh, for me too, yes. Because it's, it's so big, eight it's meters. A fight, it's a fight in the head, because when you do a painting, you know, come you come always to to a state where you, can, you have to decide, I continue this way, this way, this way, this way. And always you give up a lot of other possibilities, you know, you know. And so this is a fight in the head. But then I, I attack my paintings too, because I'm not, I'm not, uh, I'm not happy about, you know, mostly I'm not happy, you know. So I, I, I'm an iconoclast, you know. I think a painter, a good painter has to be iconoclast. He has That's to he has to destroy his painting, his work, his painting. And then it will be re resurrect, resurrected. Yes, resurrection. Resurrect, resurrect. Is this English? Is resurrect? <laughs> it could be. Ah. <laughs> Let's invent some words. Resurrection, I yeah. think. You know, I have a lot of paintings, even from the 70s still, in containers outside. Ah, really? And, and they all wait for me, you know? They all wait, they sleep, they're dead for the moment. And they sleep, and once I will, I will make them resurrect. Like in the poetry of Paul Celan, in fact. Yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, but how does it work? I've been told. Is it true that you begin with photography and you repaint on photography? Uh, I did this. I I painted over photographies sometimes. So gouaches I did when I painted over photographies. Even I painted over photographies on paintings, but. Um, not so often. So I use photographs to start the painting. But then the painting is, at the end, very often the contrary of the photography. <laughs> <laughs> sure. It, it, it and so when it's a more than eight meters large painting, how, how does it work? How do you fight with the canvas? I'm a dancer, you know, I go. Go like I'm very physical, you know. It, for me, it's it's like a d d dance hall, you know, the painting, you know. And, and I can you... put it on the floor. Sometimes I put it on the floor. Yeah. And I work on the floor. I put it up, and so. And you listen to music? Uh, sometimes, not so often. If I if I have to concentrate, really to concentrate, then I have to stop. But your dance is without music, so. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. It's, uh, yeah. <laughs> It's a dancing. So it's, it's, it's it's inspired by the what is going on the canvas. You know, it's not from the music. It's not the rhythm of the music. It's the rhythm of the painting. And it's the rhythm of what's in your head. Yeah, yeah, sure. Oh, yeah. That's interesting. And so, how do you live this period of uh, lockdown, uh, curfew? You know, uh, it, it doesn't it, change it, your life, or it was a period of. Um, it was like my life before you know i don't go out so often but i can concentrate it even more you know because there was no more phone calls no more visitors so i i i could work i could work very well yes very quietly and, and i anyway i had to concentrate because i did the big works for the pantheon you know ah, of course and i had to i had to be alone and to work you know of course. And so, um, what, what, uh, what's the next project now? We'll do a show in New York in, um, in the new gallery of, of Larry, if it's finished once. And you think we need to think more about history now in this period? 
No, his story is always important because it 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 it, it shows us how how things can be. You know, the, the posterity can can show you how it, how it can be. Um, but um, as I said, for all in Europe, we have to think about history. You know, because um, uh, if if Europe stays like this in parts, you know, part particles, then it will be squashed between China and and America, you know. Yeah. And um, tell me what you, you always refer to poetry. So do you read poetry every day or is there? Uh, uh, nearly every day. Um, uh, you know, I was once, there was a time I wasn't sure if I should be a writer or a painter. Um, because I, when I was a, when I was a young man, when I was 17, 18, I had a success with, with one of my journals. And so um, I'm still writing every day, my journal. And I'm, I'm, I have a big bibliotheque in the morning. Before I start, I go in my bibliotheque, I take out a book uh, and, um, and start the day like this. And uh, why do you write a diary? What, big why? Yes. Ah. Uh, sometimes I have a problem with my paintings, you know, then I, I, I write, um, I, um, I try to, to solve the problems in a logic way sometimes, you know, so I, I write down my thoughts and yeah. And do, do you reread your diary? For example, you open a page two years Not before? So often. Not so often. Not so often. <laughs> it's, it's more, uh, uh, um, I'm training, I, I train to train myself and yes, intellectually, you mean it, 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 other people may make sport, I, I you know. <laughs> and what, what are you reading now? Oh, I am, I, 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 I reread, um, uh, the Milan Kundera, you know, the, the unbearable uh, the sign, and um, it's not. It, it, I discovered something. I, I thought it's a little bit like uh, Musil's, Musil's Man Without Qualities, you know? Oh, wow. It's not on this level, you know? Yes. It's not, but, but it's a little bit like this because it's, um, it, it, it's, it's a mix with po poetry, Roman, and essay. You know, it's mixed up. So what, uh, yeah, and, and, And you know, for the Pantheon, I read a lot. Um, I read a lot about um, Genevois and, and these writers from the World War One. And uh, yes, and I, I, it's 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 very different what I write. Last this um, this morning, I I reread a little bit Macbeth. <laughs> you know when the. It's so wonderful because I had an idea for 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 a vitrine for a work when the wood of Birmingham comes to Dunsingham. So you remember? Yeah. It, it, it's a real poetic image, you know. When the wood, he will be no more in power. He will die when the wood walks walks. Yes, and. And, and you know, then then it happened because the soldiers, the enemy soldiers, was was camouf camouflage camouf camouflé. Yes, at the camouflage. With branches, you know, like this. <laughs> and then he thought the wood moves now. You know, it's a wonderful picture, no? Yeah, that's a very interesting. Yes, of course. You didn't get it so well, no? No, it's fantastic, no? <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> She has to. He, she has to see my work. <laughs> <laughs> and so I will convince so, you that it's a wonderful poetic um, and sculptural idea. When the wood of Birmingham comes to Dunsingham. Wow! And so, yeah. And tell me, <laughs> what is what is your next dream now? My next dream. Oh, my next dream. Mm -hmm. I will not tell you. <laughs> Why? We will, we, no, no, we will, we will, when it happens, I call you, okay? <laughs> Remember that. So my next dream is to know about your next dream. 
Okay, okay. Um, when it will happen, or oh, let's say when it starts to happen, I will call you, okay? Okay. Please remember it. Okay. Okay, super. Merci beaucoup. Okay.